Hello everyone, I'm TechDude94 and I'm here to show you how to make a custom slider for your winterboard theme. So first of all, go into your web browser. Uh, go to Google Images, so images.google.ca. Uh, search for any image that you want your slider to be. So I'm going to search a PlayStation logo. Uh, I like the neon one, I'm going to take that. All right. uh, so go ahead, go to Save Image As and uh, save it something that you'll remember and save it to your desktop alright so now you have your uh, image here uh, you're going to need Airfond view for this uh, project um, follow the link here to find out how to use Airfond view anyways uh, for those of you who remember from my other video uh, go to image resize slash resample the correct size for a slider is 74 by 47 all right so type that in 74 by 47 all right so there we go the resized image over there go to file as usual save as uh, this time when you're saving it call it bottom bar knob gray dot PNG exactly how it's written there let me just move it over for you to see. All right, bottom bar knob gray dot png, exactly how it says there. All right, so go ahead and type that in. Bottom bar knob gray dot png. Make sure it's saved as a png file. Okay, so now go to iFunbox. Once again, if you do not know how to use iFunbox, go to this video here. It'll be in the description as well. Okay. So, I'm just going to do it once quickly, and then I'll show you the exact step-by-step -step process as to how to go into the folder. All right. okay. So, we're, this is the folder we want to go into. Uh, so, first of all, start off on your iPod. Go into raw file system. Go into system. And then, go into library. And then you'll see private frameworks over there. So go to private frameworks. Right. So I'll uh, go down, 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 down. I'm going down. All right. So you are going to see a folder named Telephony UI. It's going to be exactly like that. Telephony UI. Uh, so go into that uh, folder. So you'll see all these images. There we go. There's the slider, the original Apple slider over there. All right. So what you're gonna want to do is rename this to bottom bar knob gray one dot png or something like that. And k and then so name it, rename it to something else, and uh, copy it to your PC in case for some reason you want to keep your if you want to go back to the original Apple Slider. So go to copy to PC, go into your desktop, uh, wherever you want to save it, go ahead. Um, go ahead, uh, click save. Right. So now you'll see I have two bottom bar knob gray, uh, two images, one's bottom bar knob gray and one's bottom bar knob gray one. All right. So just to show you, uh, bottom bar knob gray is my PlayStation slider and um, bottom bar knob gray one is the original Apple slider so bottom bar knob gray I'm just gonna take it drag it into the folder All right, so just wait for it to copy alright so there we go you have bottom bar knob gray and bottom knob bar knob gray one just go ahead delete bottom bar knob gray one since you have a copy saved onto your PC and there you go, you have a custom slider uh, on your iPod. Uh, so just go ahead, restart your iPod, and you will see it over there. All right, thanks for watching. Just one quick announcement before I go. Uh, I'm going to be having a website out soon, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to put the link in the next video. Uh, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Good luck with your sliders, and remember, I am the Tech Dude 94